the hunter Godfrey, his last chance to stop Manning, to stop Tennessee, the hunted Manning, in the swirling eye of this orange storm we call Neyland Stadium. Neyland Stadium, Knoxville, Tennessee. The Georgia Bulldogs and the Tennessee Volunteers are not a ticket to be had for this one tonight. Juan Daniels, number 12. Bryce Hunter also joins him as one of the deep safeties. And Jeff Hall will pick it off. Georgia, Tennessee, 1995 is underway. Into the end zone. First carry goes for three, four. Edwards has the speed to turn the corner. As you see, Little will knock him out of bounds, but Mike, he has the first down. Passed by Bobo. Out in the flat, has it complete. That's Marseille Simpson, and he will take it almost to the 50-yard line. They'll spot him down. At what does Tennessee do to counter that? We'll get to that after the snap. Bobo sprints out to the right, delivers his pass complete, and that's good for another Georgia first down as Matt Dixon, Selma Callaway, number 32. He's a sophomore running back. Comes in replacing Marseille Simpson. Quick count again. Edwards will take it for a couple up the middle, and let's go down to the sideline. Careless with the football against South Carolina, and you talked about those turnovers and how important they can be. Juan Daniels over the middle, and right now they're running just enough We'll go with Edwards. Good block at the middle. Has five. Has ten. Cut it off at about 13 yards for Edwards as Leonard Little will make the stop. It's a first and goal. Edwards again. Off the left side. He will score. And the Georgia Bulldogs only need three minutes to put it in the end zone. In this ball and then a nice first drive. Cannon Parkman knocks home the extra point 12 minutes four seconds left to play in this opening quarter and georgia has stormed down the field to a seven to nothing lead on average 10 plays a drive last week against this defense so they moved the ball also Niall Silver, five yards deep and he'll go down on one knee and on offense jay graham he got his first start last week and he set a record in doing so, 144 yards. The receivers, this is a good group. Nilo Sylvan, who you just saw, very talented receiver and return man. With the offensive line, offensive line could be as good as any they've had here. Manning, play action, slip screen. Sylvan. And he's going to take it for an 11-yard gain. And here are the folks that will try to stop him tonight in the Georgia defense. Travis Stroud, very active. It could be a problem area, though, for Georgia. And one of the areas that they want to keep a close eye on. Dumps it over the middle. Nash takes it out close to the 40-yard line. This is a fired-up group. This guy right here particularly, Godfrey, wants to stop him tonight. Fired up group of Georgia Bulldogs. Manny going to go on top. Got a man. Complete at the 16, Joey Kent. Against Buster Owens. That's 45 yards. And then they come back with the running play for a couple of yards. Second down line to make is the six. with a head of steam. Stroud trips him up. Uh, it has to help just practicing with those players. Here comes the blitz. Manny avoids it. He's going to run. At the five, he will score. touchdown. Jeff Hall with the extra point. Good teams. Answer scores. Bryce Hunter and Juan Daniels back at a dual safety. Jeff Hall again. Eight yards deep. He will not return it. At seven, both were eight-yard runs. Both were 80-yard drives. And both took 256 to score.
Edwards hopes it big. He's got one man to beat. And he will be caught and tackled at the 15-yard line. It's Deron Jenkins who finally brings him down. He said we're going to change it from defensive back to running back. 65 yards on that run. Marseille Simpson will take it for a couple. Torin Kurtzy is checked into the backfield, number 20. He gets the handoff. He gets banged hard, but his offensive line to help him with a push. They use him as a receiver many times. Pass in the flat, though. Simpson right through his hand. I don't know if that was deflected or not. And it will be a 26-yard attempt trying to put Georgia on top, 10-7. No problem for him. So let's take a break. The Georgia Bulldogs touched the football twice. And in the first eight minutes, they have scored a field goal and a touchdown. Right back. Milo Silvan, who'll get a chance to return it. From the six. Shows you why he's one of the best in the nation. Graham takes it out over the 45. There's a quick screen again. Marcus Nash, and it is another first down. We're going to have statisticians getting writer's cramp up here. Oh, uh, he just reached for some more of those extra strength pills. Complete at the 30. That's Nilo Silvan. Looks for a block, and he's going to be corralled by Corey Johnson. But it is another under six minutes remaining opening quarter. Cuts it back, breaks off a tackle. That's terrific balance, and he's going to wind up at the 18. Loses the ball that has been picked up by Armin Love of Georgia. Kind of emotion. Wants to throw in that direction and has it complete at the 24. Right ahead with the handoff. Some of the crowd thought that Selma Callaway. It's McCraney in motion. Edwards on the running play, and Little has him, and that's one of the few times tonight that he has been hit and stopped. Tennessee 146 for over 300 first 40 yards. Defensive coordinator's nightmare. <laughs> Bobo drills it. Should have been caught by Bryce Hunter, and he dropped it. Gets to Edwards, and you can see the blitz coming from the defensive secondary, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Third down. The shovel pass. That's Edwards. Cuts it back into the middle. Boy, he really has outstanding balances. He'll get it to the 30-yard line, and it's little... That is Edwards. Yeah, who's telling me it's Marcy Simpson downstairs? Nilo Silvan is back deep. Larry Brown collars him with a head-high tackle. Left opening quarter. Georgia 10-7. Graham. Philip Godfrey. They want to get him out of there. Graham. With the little stutter step, and you can see he was hit by Ferguson. Under a minute to play, opening quarter. Ram yeah. with the hurdle, and they choose to go behind Lehman. Got a man in a streak route, just overthrown Joey Kent. Near perfect. <laughs> Swings this one out. Has his tight end, David Horn. Horn gets blasted. Dumps the ball out to his tight end, Horn. 
Well, that's the end of the first quarter with our score, Georgia 10 and Tennessee 7. Boy, the special teams for Georgia have really been outstanding. Manning throws it complete inside the 40. It's Marcus Nash. Kirby Smart had three sacks last week for Georgia. They use him as an extra defensive back from time to time. This running play stopped by Travis Stroud. Ronnie Pillow comes into the backfield. Number three, a sophomore from Columbia, Tennessee. Nine to make the 28th. Tennessee is three up three on third down conversion. Payton throws it complete, and what a catch by Maurice Stanley. fumble he had earlier. Graham hit hard at the line of scrimmage. It's Witt. And this is the 11th play of the drive for Tennessee. Oh, all alone on the short side of the field as David Horn is tied in. He'll sneak inside the 10-yard line. Graham up the right side to penetrate the five-yard line. Great thing about that, Ron, is they're experienced. They know the calls. They know what they're doing. Horn in motion. It's Graham. You see him pull the tackle at the one-yard line. Wow, that's a pretty good stick. The ball just inside the Georgia two. receiving in. Knocks it home and with 11.03 left until halftime. Tennessee 14, Georgia 10. Daniels and Itelli Mook to Mike Bobo. His team scrimmaging from the 20-yard line. Trailing by four. Edwards back in the lineup, and he'll take it to the 29-yard line. He's not worried about his head getting too big because he's got team like, teammates like Bubba Miller to keep him in check. <laughs> Good defensive stick. So it's third down. To keep this one going, they've got to take it to the 30-yard line. Number 23 is back in a deep safety. Kick almost blocked. Dax Langley does a good job of getting it away to the 25. And Summers will run out of bounds. Graham is met at the line of scrimmage. But Field and down to the 43. Our mean love. Nash knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. The last play of the ball game, a pass deep in the end zone to get the victory. But it doesn't look as though the Cats are going to be able to do that tonight. Here's a reverse, and he caught him in a blitz, but enough of a hit on Sylvan, and he's got to be ridden out of bounds for a loss. Graham the only setback this time with a second down and 14. Nice identification there. They're attacking, and he just smiled last night when I asked him the question. You like it, and he just beamed. Yes, he does. Godfrey coming up the middle on the blitz, and you know, the kids really believe in him, and they're playing hard for him. Georgia fake the corner blitz, and then they stay at home. Manning steps up on top, and the defensive back 
had stopped coordinator then into the punt and it's Chris McCraney back deep trying to get this one high and get it to go dead at the one and it takes a Tennessee bound so they need to run the ball like they did in the first quarter with Robert Edwards Torin Kirksey, you're, you're exactly right. And remember you said you can't win in any league leaving your defense out there that much. Bobo going to go on top. Third down. And to keep this drive going, they need to take it to the 19. They're going to have the first down. You said at the opening of the show, let's keep them down and stay in this ball game and have a chance to win it in the fourth quarter. Bobo on the flat on the other side. And boy, will have the first. Said he had his jacket on. Never thought he was going to go into the game, <laughs> so he didn't really have time to worry about it. Probably the reason he played so well. Good stick right up the middle is Curtsy. They broke the huddle with 12 men, one coming off the field. You can't deceive the defense, and Al Ford in the group caught him. Bobo hit from behind, and he's sacked by Shane Burton. And it's third down. they got to take this one all the way out to the 47 to hold on to the football. Hit just as he unloads it. That was Leonard Little running after the ball, but it was Steve White. Sheldon to receive this punt from Langley. Gets by one. And go watch Michigan practice this week on Tuesday and then head to Lawrence, Kansas for that ball game. I'll meet up with you. Graham takes it to the right side. Almost has five on the plate. Joey King. And now one flag and a second flag. Graham, nice block from Eric Lane to pave the way, and he's close to the first downs this year. SMU coach Rossley and his club go with an upset of Arkansas last week. Pass over the middle, just beyond his fingertips. Marcus Nash. Manning trying to get everybody to uh, get lined up as they move the change. Clock is running with 150 until halftime. Back to the sideline, and Horn is uh, just unattended out there. Goes the sideline route. Woo. Greg Bright was closer to the pass. At the 25 and down to the 23, Maurice Staley. He's been looking off the defensive backs to hit Staley. And as you could see in that tight shot of Peyton, it is now beginning to rain hard here in Knoxville. Boy, Marcus Nash. He, was, he felt like there was a, a pick by the Tennessee receivers. He was close to right. <laughs> they go to the draw play. A nice defensive work. As stepping up is Jason Ferguson. The college transfer just <laughs> arrived in the fall. Manning swings it out to Graham. Writes himself. Stiff arm. And as you can see, that's Buster Owens. Who gets a good pass, and he knocks it home. 32 yards and a field goal. But Tennessee goes on top 17 to 10. Georgia in tight, and Bobo will just take the snap and go down on one knee. So that is the end of the first half with our score. Tennessee 17 and Georgia 10. Now let's join Mike Tomiko for the GMAC halftime. Sylvan fumbled it. Now gets it up at the 20, 25. He's one of the best in the nation. At the 30, 
at the 20 of Georgia and shoved out of bounds just inside the 15-yard line. Was he hit the middle? You're going to see him on the kickoff return. He catches a football. Now he hits the middle. Now he breaks to the left side. There's the middle. Now he breaks to the side. Now here's where he does a great job. He lets his blocker set up. He picks up about 10 more yards by just letting his blocker set up. Special teams. Graham to the left side. Tripped up. That's a nice job by Greg Bright. Okay, Mike, thanks for the update. Second down, the running play goes to the right side. And a reminder that every 10, 30, and oh, Tennessee called a timeout. It appeared as though that Joey Kent wanted him over on the right side, and he had lined up on the left. So they didn't want the five-yard penalty, and thus with the third down, they called a timeout. Pressure coming up the middle, out of the backfield, threw it a little bit quickly in for a 24-yard attempt as Tennessee trying to go up by 10. <laughs> so Tennessee on top now by a count of 20 to 10. The dual safety for the Bulldogs. But both of these guys are capable of doing the same thing. Daniel says, I want it. Bryce Hunter, I beg your pardon. And he will come stay with that running attack play action. You remember the first drives, first couple drives, they had good balance between the run and pass. Edwards, we'll see if he, well, he didn't get around the corner quite as fluidly. Bobo in the flat has it complete. Bryce Hunter and a flag has gone down. Yeah, and that. Bobo caught from behind and tackled at the 17-yard line. When you don't have any timeouts, get your field goal team on. It looks like they got it off in time. On third down, deep over the middle. Got Bryce Hunter, and he breaks a tackle. And he slipped down about a yard and a half short of picking up the first down. That's Langley to punt it away for Georgia. First down going to be for Georgia. Tennessee had too many men on the field. Nilo Silver from the 16. Good coverage, and that's checked the marker. Substitution and faction by the defense. Five-yard penalty will make a first down. Edwards, confusion on that play, and he's going to turn it into something. Tackled at the 44. Just the threat of Robert Edwards being on the field. Draw play to Edwards. He broke the tackle. He's Brown hitting first. Block in the back by the offense. 10 yards from the front of the foul. See a second down. <laughs> Larry Bowie is the only setback standing next to Bobo. Tip and he caught it. Ron Daniels. 20 to 10. Tennessee leads. And we got confusion on this play. Gets his pass away. Had a man there, Hunter, just as you were talking. Third down. He's got it. Matt Dixon. Big drive for Georgia. Run. Kurtzy gets the handoff, takes it right up the middle. He'll squeeze it for a couple. Albert Edwards out of the ball game again, Ron, in this late drive here. Kurtzy gets the handoff and behind. With the naked play and throw the ball. Got Hunter, first and goal, Georgia at the five. They show more than their years as far as poise. 
and experience. Edwards back in the lineup, number 47. Tries to get around the corner, and they will stop him at the two. That's Raymond Austin. Edwards, Skyward, touchdown Bulldogs. Just his presence on the field helps that entire football team of Ray Goff. They're excited on the sidelines. They know that he gives you a chance. To attempt the extra point with the injured Parkman. And he got it. So as we head to break, one more look at the touchdown by Robert Edwards. It is Tennessee 20 at the Georgia Bulldogs 17. Because that kept that drive alive. Now this is Langley kicking off because of the injury to Parkman. He did not get it deep enough to go in the end zone. And Sylvan got a return last time. And he's going to try again. We learned from the master, Mike Adamley, because Eric Zier, I tell you, he played him every play the same way. Pass out of the backfield. Tipped, and it will go incomplete. Swings it out of the backfield. And Levine is going to take it up to the 36. They want that call again. They're, they're going to get a rip. <laughs> Substitution in the fraction against the offense. Five yards, still third down. Man aims sack back at the 15 yard line. Frank Watts, good field position. Binion to kick it away, and Chris McCraney, who had a 41-yard return last week against South Carolina, is the man who's back to receive it, and he's going to get one on this one. Cobb trying to get aroused here and help this Tennessee defense. Edwards sweeps the right, has five, has ten, counted off at 11 yards as Corey Gaines... Edwards on the cutback. Three at the 30. And goes down at the 23-yard line. Mike, was he tackled or did he go down because of that injury? Bowie out front blocking. Gets his block. And Kirksey just tripped up. He's back checking on the wounded tailback. Bobo for the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown, Ron Daniels. <laughs> 17 yards. And what was impressive about that play, Ron, is Mike Bobo was looking to the front side. He football team from last year. Langley with the kick. It's good. And now here comes a late marker in. It's going to be procedure. It must be... Langley doesn't either. He knocks it downtown, and there's a timeout on the field with 4.14 left to play in the third. Clean second half offensively yet. But it third down. The line to make is the 49. Bobo got by it. Going to run, and he'll have the first down. What more can you ask? About to go under 13 minutes to play in this ball game. 27-24, Tennessee. And that's Kurtzy. Wrapped up nicely by Raymond Austin. Pressure right up the middle. Gets by Little. Throws the pass away very wisely. And that's not grounding. Ron, I think they called in the grasp of Mike Bobo. Uh, Leonard Little had him. He didn't really take him down, and that's what Ray Goff was arguing about. He said he threw the ball away. It shouldn't have been called. He's going to go up on top, and he's got a man down there almost and not quite. Matt Dixon got a hand on it. So a tough call for Ray Goff. So it's fourth down. Flag is down, and the punt returned by Sylvan, and an excellent job by Georgia very quickly downfield. Just over 11 minutes left to play. Mark 
Marcus Nash. He had 17 linemen in 11 years going to the National Football League. Graham tries to get it outside. Very sticky going. the 32. It's going to be third down. Tennessee wants to score and use clock. It's coming right up the middle. And what a nice play by Greg Bright. He got one hand to uh, get the punt away. McCraney for Georgia. Back is the deep man. Good kick. And he gets it away from McCraney. And this thing is going to go out of bounds just inside the 20. That's they can get one more drive to put some Bonus points up there. Hertzie breaks one tackle. Won't get out of the grasp of the second. Well, particularly if Georgia comes back and wins this football game, you do have to put an asterisk by that one. They get the screen pass. Hertzie, nice move in the open field. He'll have the Georgia first down out of the 23. First down again, hurdles the tackler, picks up five, now six yards more. The Nav answered the call tonight, both these young quarterbacks. Yeah, I think you're, you're right on. Kurt C showing some gutsy running. He Good heavens, what a hit by Leonard Little. He Here's his key receivers, Bryce Hunter, Juan Daniels right here, the two inside receivers. Right over the middle, and he's got it. Bryce Hunter, first and 10, Georgia. And takes it to Kurtzy. Got it in the flat to Boyd. He'll have another Georgia first down. He'll take it. 17 of 27, 258 yards. New running back, Odell Collins, a junior. Gonna be tripped up by Craig King. Over the middle, and he dropped it. Threw it just a little bit behind Bryce Hunter. Parkman has the injury to his leg, so it's gonna be Dex Langley. He will attempt a 35-yarder trying to tie this one up. Got the distance, and he has the accuracy. And we are tied with 4.51 left in this ballgame. What a drive by Georgia. Mike Bobo did everything he could ask him to do. As we had mentioned, uh, the national stati statistical leader and also the SEC leader. And, then, boy, he did just that. That's he knocked it out of the it. back. They were tied at 27. to cut it back in the middle. Does. Has five, seven, eight, and now nine yards. <laughs> Second down and short. And it's Graham, and he squeezes through an opening. He'll have six yards in the new first down. And that covers some awfully good people. Nine oh seven just dropped it. Corner blitz coming from Georgia. Tennessee picks it up and the pass incomplete. It's been 0 for their last three. Joe Kimes almost prayerful here. Manning avoids the rush. Now gets it away and it is intercepted. Kirby Smart for Georgia and he will step out of bounds just inside the 40-yard line and now flags everywhere. After the interception on the run back, a block in the back by the white team will be first down and 10 after the penalty. So there was youth right there. Three minutes and 34 seconds left. We're tied at 27. 
gets the pitch. He'll take it for a couple of tough ones. Leonard Little, undoubtedly, the cobwebs are... This team can coach, and they've got players that believe in this system right now. Bobo to the pass. Bryce Hunter has it complete. Now, it depends from where that linesman has come down across the way. That's going to be enough for the first down. By it's been a whale of a football game. These fans have got their money's worth tonight. Kirksey hit very hard as he tries the left side. Clock is at 148, now 147. Pass incomplete. Receiver slipped down. Third down. Line to make is the 26 of Tennessee. Over the middle, Bryce Hunter dropped it. I don't believe he did that. Hit him in the hands and he dropped it and he had cut in front. He hit that 60 yarder now that he hit in high school. Brian Smith is the holder, number 11. Kick is on its way. Does it have the distance? Yes, and it is off to the right and no good. Swings it out in the flat. That's Graham. Breaks the tackle, and he's up the sideline. Knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Good call by David Cutcliffe. Pass now makes somebody miss. Kirby Smart is a miss. Randall Godfrey makes the play, but Tennessee's knocking on the door. Here they come with a corner blitz again. Tennessee picks it up. Pass is thrown complete. It'll be a gain of seven yards. 116 to play. Tennessee 27. Georgia 27. Well, how many are coming? Everybody. Puts it on top. Just beyond his outstretched hands looking for Joey Kent. Third down. Straight up the middle. Has the first down. And he will take it to the 18-yard line as Philip Daniels will... Just diving to the 15-yard line. You see Hall, the freshman out of Winchester, Tennessee, pacing on the sideline back and forth. Manning will take it squarely to the middle of the field and go down. 15 seconds left, trying to put Tennessee on top, 30 to 27. And here we go. Jeff Hall. seconds left on the clock 96,000 fans and he walks out there and just knocks it home five yards deep in the end zone so the clock doesn't move <laughs> Peyton Manning I'm not sure he wanted to look Bobo, pass over the middle, has it complete to Hunter. He's tackled in the open field, and they call a timeout, which left on the clock. Tennessee's got players 60 yards downfield. Bobo going to throw it for all he's worth. And it is going to be hit and knocked away, and that's the end of our ball game. Jeff Hall is the big man on campus. Tennessee 30, Georgia 27 for Mike Gottfried and Mike Adamley and our entire ESPN crew, Ron Franklin saying so long from Knoxville. Now let's join Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson in Boulder, Colorado.